Okay. So, let's start the class. Uh, last time, di ba, ang uh, chapter 1, uh, nag-discuss tayo tungkol sa patterns and about uh, Fibonacci sequence. So, this time, in chapter 2, uh, naka-record na ba ako? Okay, so this time in chapter 2, uh, we will be talking about the mathematical language and the symbols. So the learning objectives, uh, please anyone uh, read what, what are the learning objectives uh, for today. Anyone volunteer? Yes, MC. Sir, lang sa screen na po ba? Ah, hindi ba na ano? Hindi pa po. Mm-hmm. Bakit hindi siya umano? Nag-get lang. Okay, so nakikita na ba? Yes po, sir. Okay, so please read the learning objectives. Learning objectives. First, discuss the language, symbols, and convections of mathematics. Second, explain the nature of mathematics as a language. Third, acknowledge that, mathema that mathematics is a useful language. Fourth, Compare and contrast expression and sentences. Fifth, identify and discuss the four basic concepts in mathematical language. Sixth, list and discuss some basic operations on logic and logical formalities. Next, perform operations on mathematical expressions correctly. Articulate the importance of mathematics in one's life. And the last one is express appreciation for mathematics as a human endeavor. Okay, thank you. So these are the following learning objectives that we would be uh, learning today for the chapter 2. So topic outline. Uh, can anyone volunteer again for the topic outlines? Hindi ko kayo makikita dyan. Saglit lang ha. Magka na ka-error. Okay, so can anyone...
I'll pick outline. Angelo? Topic outline. Characteristics of mathematical language. Number two, expression versus sentences. Number three, conventions in the mathematical language. Four, for big concepts. Five, elementary logic. Four, formality. Okay. Thank you. So, these are what we would be discussing for today. The whole of three hours. So, convention in the mathematical language. Okay, so, mathematics <clears throat> is a spoken and written natural languages for expressing the mathematical language. So, mathematical language is an efficient and powerful tool for mathematical expression, exploration, reconstruction, after exploration, and communication. So, mathematical is precise and concise. It has a poor uh, understanding of the language. Okay. So, these are the mathematical or mathematics languages. So, we have our alphanumeric digits, uh, 0 to 9. Then, we have our mathematical symbols uh, used in uh, most of our formulas and uh, calculations. Okay, so please read uh, mathematical language. Yes, Charles. Mathematical language is a system used to communicate mathematical ideas. It consists of some natural language using technical problems, mathematical terms, and grammatical conventions that are uncommon to mm. mathematical discourse, mm. supplemented by a highly specialized symbolic notations for mathematical formulas. Mathematical notation used for formulas has its own grammar and shared by mathematicians anywhere in the globe. Mathematical language is being precise, concise, and powerful. Okay. So, mathematical language. So, this is a uh, worldwide language. So, hindi lang mga ano, uh, kung sa ibang bansa kayo, uh, or naka-encounter kayo ng ibang tao sa ibang bansa, ang uh, mathematical language is universal. So, Kahit sabihin mo, sabihin mo sa kanya, 1 plus 1, ang sa kanya, 1 plus 1, pares pa rin kayo ng nagiging sagot. So, yun po ang mathematical language natin. So, any formula na gamitin nyo dyan, uh, basta sa parehas yung variables nyo, pares pa rin yung nagiging sagot nyo. Nagkakaintindihan pa rin kayo na ganito yung output and the input. Okay? So, Okay, so, another ano, student, please read. Okay, Jenny. Expression versus sentences. An expression or mathematical expression is a finite combination of symbols that is used that depend on the context. Symbols can decide, decide numbers, variables, operations, functions, brackets, punctuation and groupings to help determine other of operation and other aspects of mathematical syntax. Expression. Correct arrangement of mathematical symbols to represent the, the object of interest does not contain a complete thought and cannot be determined if it's true or false. Okay. So, what do we mean by the expressions sa isang mathematical or mathematical expressions? So, uh, any mathematical expressions are always finite kapag ka nilagyan nyo ng symbols. So, ito ay magde-depend lamang yung inyong expressions according sa rules. And, alimbawa, sinabi nyo, temperature yan, anong symbol ng temperature, meron tayong degrees Celsius, meron tayong degrees Fahrenheit, and meron lang siyang uh, rules na fin-follow para ma-achieve kung ano yung uh, pwede mong ilagay doon sa uh, value ng isang expression. So, it, uh, symbols 
or the in an expression can also uh, be replaced uh, by numbers or any operations. So, yun yung ginagawa nyo na nag, alba, nag replace kayo or alba, A is equals to uh, B plus C. So, the A represented B plus C. Okay. So, ganun si expression ginagamit sa ating mathematical uh, expressions. Okay. So, can also include uh, numbers, sets, and functions. Next, we have sentence. Okay, so what are what is the difference of a sentence to an expression? A sentence, a statement about two expressions, either using numbers, variables, or combination of both. So a sentence, uh, mas 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 mahaba siya sa isang expression, and uh, it contains uh, more than one uh, expressions sa loob niya. So it uses symbols, yan, equals, greater than, less than, yan, oops, yan, correct arrangement, bawa, kung dapat si greater than, nandito, si ganon, si equals, yan, so, uh, conventions in the mathematical language, meron tayong mathematical convention, so, these are facts, so, it is the, uh, correct usage of the mathematical uh, symbols and the expressions and numbers, the sentences, uh, agreed upon ng lahat ng mathematicians o sa atin, kung sa atin naman, mga engineers, uh, yun, yun yung ginagamit natin formula. Okay, so PEMDAS, parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, ito, Ang lagi nating sinusunod uh, sa ating mathematical calculations. So, different and specific meaning within mathematics. So, heavy group, ring, field, term, factor, then special terms, web tensor, fractal, and factor. A mathematical taxonomy, we have an axiom, axiom conjecture, we have theorems lemma, and corollaries. So, formulas are written predominantly left to right. So, para nagsusulat ng uh, English language. So, it's written left to right. So, ang writing system naman ng isang substrate language is right to left. So, yan. Katulad nga na sabi ko kanina, Latin alphabet. Yung una natin ginamit. So, it is written from left to right. So, for simple variables yun. So, ang mathematical expressions, uh, nakilista din sa baba. Ito, mga makalimitan natin ginagamit. May equal, less than, greater than, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We have element, and the upside down A for all. And there exists. Infinity implies if and only if, proximate, and the therefore. So, if you have uh, four basic concepts, you have language of sets, the language of functions, so we have also have the language of relations, the language of binary operations, so within the language of sets, please read. Itatawag na lang ako. Okay, now Eileen, please read. Okay. Uh, set theory. Set theory is the branch of mathematics that studies or the mathematical science of the infinite. George Cantor, 1845 to 1918, is a German mathematician. He is considered as the founder of set theory as a mathematical discipline. Okay, thank you. So, this is George Cantor. So, considered as the founder of set theory as the mathematical discipline. So, the set theory has a sets and elements. So, sets and elements. So, a set 
is a well-defined collection of object. So set, we have the object are called elements or members of the set. So we represent the element of a set as an uh, this character or this character as an element of a set and with a slash not an element of a set so, so what are examples of sets so sets we have a is equals to set of x such that x is a positive integer less than 10 so ano bang ibig sabihin nitong set na ito so set and meron tayong example na set ulit uh, b equals to Set of x such that x is a real number and x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So C, we have set of x such that x is a letter in the word dirt. So D is equal to set of x such that x is an integer of 1. <clears throat> one less than x and x is less than 8 okay so we have e uh, where the set of x such that x is a set of vowel letters so example set e equals the set of all x such that x is a set of vowel letters or e is equals to a e i o u Okay, so, sino mga kapagsabi sa akin sa ano kaya ang x such that x is a positive integer less than 10? Isang number, pwede ba? Ano ba mga less than 10? Meron tayong, yes. Meron tayong 9, meron tayong 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yan. So, positive integer. So, lahat na pumasok dito sa set na to, pag isinet nyo is A. Ah, hindi, hindi ako makapag ano dito eh. So, we have A. A. Saglit lang. Okay, so yung set niya magiging A is equals to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, hanggang dumating siya sa 9. So, ayan ang magiging set ng A. Okay, so next we have B x is a real number uh, x such that x is a real number and x squared is a, uh, minus 1 is equals to 0 so ano ba yung pag nag x, my, uh, x squared minus 1 is equals to 0 so isa lang ang number, ang number natin ay b is equals to set ng 0 and 1 and kung may, may naisip pa ba kayo na iba? A real number na pag ating in x squared and minus 1 is equal to 0. Iba, meron pa ba? Hello? Bye. <laughs>
Sir, ano po? Negative 1? Uh, real number. Uh, negative 1. Okay, negative 1. Tama. Meron pa ba? Negative 1. Okay, so, ang nasa set lang natin is ito lang tatlo, sa B. So, C. So, C. Uh, set of X such that X is a letter in the word dirt. Okay, so, ano ba yung mga letters na nasa word na dirt? Okay, so, C is equals to D I R T So, yan yung nasa set ng ating C And we have D oh, D, X such as X is an integer of 1 is less than X <coughs> And X is less than 8 Okay, so ano yung mga integers in between 1 and 8? So, yun ang i-indicate natin dito sa D. So, we have reset. We have ano ba? 2. So, if mag tayo ng whole numbers, we have 2. We have 3. Then, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, then we have 7, yan. So, ito yung set natin sa letter D. Okay, so I'll wait lang. Okay, so We have this set. So, indicate whether the following defined is a set. Okay. The course list of course offerings. Uh, the list of course offerings of Centro Escular Un University. Okay. So, who can answer? Is this a set or not a set? Anyone? Take a guess. A uh, set po, sir. A set. Okay. So the answer, it is a set. So why the list of course offerings in Central Escular University is a set? Because it is uh, defined as a course offering. So, and under siya ng Central Escular University. So next, we have the elected district councillors of Manila City. Is it a set or not a set? 
not a set po. Oh, not a set. It, it, it is also a set. Why? Because uh, the elected uh, district councilors are of Manila City. Meaning, nandun sila sa Manila City, under sila nun. So, these are sets of district councilors. So, next, uh, the collection of intelligent monkeys in Manila Zoo. Is it a set or not a set? Set po. Set po. Set po. Set po. Is... Not a set po. O may nag not a set, may nag set. Tama sagot. It is not a set. Okay, so bakit siya not a set? O although nakalagay sa kanya is collection of intelligent monkeys in Manila Zoo. It is not a set due to maraming klase ng intelligent monkeys sa Manila Zoo. Di ba? So, kung sinabi natin the collection of intelligent chimpanzees in Manila Zoo, so, dinefine mo kung ano ba talaga yung monkeys na yun, it will become a set. Pero yung sinabi mo na monkeys lang, maraming klase na monkeys, hindi siya magiging set. Okay? O, any question sa sets? Sir, paano po ba namin, sir, malalaman po talaga or may mababasa po sa tingin lang na yung isang sentence po ay set or hindi? O, oh, malalaman kung set o hindi. Uh, you will always look for the wording. O, kasi kung yung wording niya is too broad, halimbawa, sinabi mo na I caught a fish today. O, ano bang fish? Uh, ano bang ano? Ano bang isda? Anong klase? So, kung sinabi mo lang siya na fish, mo, I caught four fish today. So, malalaman mo ba kung yung fish one mo is tilapia, ang fish two mo ay tawilis, ang fish three mo ay goldfish, ang fish three mo ay arowana. O, so, hindi natin alam. So, it cannot be in a set kasi hindi defined kung ano yung nasa loob niya. Okay? Okay po, sir. O medyo malabo pa. Sino, sino pa nalilito? Ungkol sa set. Wala na? Okay na? Hello? Um, the, the, okay, meron pa? Wala na. Okay, so, eh, list the elements of the sets. So, these are mathematical sets. So, A is A is equals to set of x such that x is a letter in the word mathematics. Okay, sino makakapagbigay sa akin? Ano ang nasa loob ng sets na to? Anyone? Sabihin nyo is set tapos yung nasa loob ng set na yun. Uh... A is equals to set tapos yung elements niya yun. Um, A is equal to set of M, A, T, H, E, M, A, T, I, C, uh, S, T, C, S. Ayan, uh, yan, pero uh, mind you, pag nag-ulit, alam ba, may M, M, yan. So, pero tama din yung sagot mo, uh, isulat mo lahat, okay rin yon. So, answer is 
this one. So have B. Okay, so can anyone give me an answer with letter B? So set of X such that X is a positive integer of 3 is less than or equal to x and is less than or equal to 8. Anyone? Yes, you know. See? Sino nag-raise hand? Uh, Charles. B is, is equal to the set of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, B is equals to, ayan, nakalagay na dito. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yan. O, tama yun. So, next, we have C. Is equals to set of X. Such that X is equals to N plus 3. Where N is a positive integer. Okay. So, N, anyone? Give. The answer, pwede kayo mag-compute sa papel, calculator nyo. Okay, meron na ba may sagot? Anyone? Sir, ano po? 5. C is equals to set of 5, 6, 7, 8. Hanggang, ila, hanggang 13 po. Hanggang 13. Okay. So, answer is 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So, bakit siya meron nito? Kasi hindi ka nag-define ng ending. So, yung positive integer mo, kapag halimbawa, Paano ba siya naging 5, 7, 9, 11, 13? Uh, 2 and plus 3. Patay sa whiteboard. Uh, Wasan pa pambura dito? So, limawa, we have 2 and plus 3. So, meron tayong alimbawa, n is equals to 0, n is equals to 1, n is equals to 2, n is equals to 0. Since uh, 0 naman is not a positive integer, uh, hindi natin ito pasasama. So, we have n is equals to 1, n2 times 1, plus 3 is equals to 5. So, we have 2 times 2 plus 3 equals to 7 and 3 ah 2 times 3 plus 3 equals to <coughs> 11 so we have 2 times 4 plus 3 Rico. Saglit. 2, 6, uh, 9 to 9, 11, 2 times 5, 3, 13. So, 
So, 2 times 6 plus 3. So, ano nung, ano to? Uh, 15 po. 15 po. O, 2 times 7 plus 3. 17. 17 po. 2 times 8 plus 3. 20. O, 19. 19 po. 19. 19 po. 10 po. Ayan. 19. So, yung N nyo, 19, hanggang umabot yan ng infinity, yun yung sagot nyo kay uh, C. So, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, so on and so forth. Okay. So, sa sets, yan, kapag ka uh, words yung sinabi, so, pag nag-ulit, isa lang yung ilalagay nyo, hindi nyo uulitin. Then, kapag ka naka-define siya, na si between lang siya ng 3 and 8 ay susulat nyo yung between lang sa 3 and 8 so meron din tayong halimbawa na ganito na continuous na continuous naman siya ilalagay nyo, ilalagay nyo yung so on and so forth sa dulo para understood ng babasa and yung answer nyo is uh, infinity or uh, going going uh, forward or so on so forth okay so writing ng sets uh, methods of writing sets we have the roster method so the elements of the set are enumerated and separated by a comma it's also called a tabulation method so yun yung ginagawa natin kanina na pag nagsulot tayo ng ano na a is equals to set, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We separate them by comma to determine na ang A is equals to 1, A equals to 2, A equals to 3, A equals to 4 in a table or tabulation uh, manner. So we also have the rule method. So rule method is a descriptive phrase in used to describe the elements or members of the set. So, it is also called a set builder notation. So, symbol is written as set of a uh, set such that a p times x. Yan. So, sample, we have e is equals to set of a, e, i, o, u. So, in a roster method, E such that X is a collection of vowel letters. So, this is the rule method. Okay, so nakita nyo yung pagkakaiba niya, yung roster and rule. So, write the following sets in roster form. Okay. So, letter A. Anyone, please answer. Uh, set up A. Sino ba sa sagot? Si Nawilin ba or si Lay? Sino ba? Oh, Nawilin, since ikaw naman nagbukas ng mic, uh, please answer. Hindi ko pa lang na A is equals to set of D I S C R E T. E-T. Okay, so Lay, ikaw, anong sagot mo? Pares ka ba ng sagot kayo na Willin? Yes po, same lang din. Okay, so ano yung answer mo? Pareho lang din po yung nang kayo na Willin po. Oo nga, ano nga yun? A, A is uh, equals to? A is equal to set of T, I, S, C, R, E, and T. Okay. So, iba. May, may iba po ba sagot dyan? Okay, MC. A is equals to set of D, I, S, C, R, E, T. Okay. So, tama kayo lahat doon? Ang answer is A is equals to 
set of D-I-S-C-R-E-T. So, kita natin, di na, yung E, hindi na ulit. Uh, na ulit. So, hindi natin na ulitin siya sa roster form. So, we have B. Okay, meron na dito sa dulo. Okay, can, can anyone answer? Any idea? Malawa, x such that 3 is less than x or x less than 8 and x is an element of z. Malawa makakuha? So, yan po ang sagot. <clears throat> so, pag nakita nyo to, x is an element of z, meaning, yung x nyo dito is represented by the z. Ibig sabihin nyo na yung letter niya, z. Okay? So, same lang din siya ng mga nauna, na sample. So, Ano ba ang, uh, if x is less than 3, di ba may 4 tayo, uh, 5, 6, and 7, na less than sa, uh, less, uh, where x is less than 8 din. So, yan lang ang sets ng number natin sa letter B. So, ngayon, C is equals to x such that x is the set of zodiac signs. Okay, sino pwede magbigay nito? C is equals to? Anyone? Google nyo na kung ano yung mga, Google, yung mga zodiac signs. Okay, Pia? C is equals to set of Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces, Gemini and Leo. Yun. Okay. So, ayan. So, C is equals to the uh, different zodiac signs. So, write the following sets using the rule mo method naman. O, rule method. Yung kabaliktara naman. O, so, D is equals to anyone? Patatawag na lang ako. Uh, Mark Jerry Mendoza. Any idea? I said, uh, using rule method, please write the following set. AFK yata si Mark or walang mic. Okay, Lay. Um, D is equal to the to the set of X such as X is the collection of trees in the Philippines. Okay. Uh, I think. Pwede. Uh, more specific pa. More specific pa. Ano ba si Nara? Ano ba si Mahagani? Ano ba si Mulave? Any idea? Ano ba tong mga trees na to? Okay, Pia. D is equals to the set of X such that X is a collection of uh, is the list of timber trees. Hmm. Malapit na? Malapit na? Meron pa? 
O clue. Ang mga punong ito ay hindi namumunga. Ano bang tawag sa kanya? Lapit na, may makakagets na nito. Okay, Pia. D is equals to the set of X such that X is the list of non-fruit-bearing trees. Yon. So, oh, yun na. Pwede na yun. Okay, so the answer is uh, X such that X is the set of non-bearing trees. Yan. Okay, so the following, Nara, Mahogany, Mulave, then other non-bearing trees. Yon, ito siya isulat sa rule method. So ito, next one, P e is equals to DOJ, uh, DOH, DOST, DSWD, DNR, CHED, DEPED. So ano ba sila lahat? Anyone? Answer? Anyone? Dali lang to. Really? Uh, try lang po sir. Uh, e is equal to the set of X such as X uh, is the list of different departments in the Philippine government. Char okay. Philippines. Pwede. Si Charles, nagtaas ka kanina na kamay? Anong yung sagot? Apo. Uh, e is equal to the set of X such that X are the organizations in, found in the Philippines. Uh, pwede rin? So, sino pa? May sagot pa ang iba? Any other answers for the following object, following element in a set? answer any ideas okay jenny you raise in your hand e is equal to set of x such as x is the set of all set of different government departments in the philippines okay so answer malapit na rin doon E is equals to set of X, such that X is the set of government agencies. Okay, so next. O F. Yan, ano yan? Botany, biology, chemistry, physics. Anyone? <clears throat> Eh, madali na yan. Lahat tayo nag-aaral niyan. So, ano bang set siya? San, san ba siya nagpo-fall under? Sir, um, try F is equals to set of set sa P6 po. Ganun. Ah, pakiulit, pakiulit. Um, equals to set of X is the, is the set of P6 po. In the basis of all science. P6, B6 of all science. Okay. So, any other answers? Okay, Von? <laughs> F is equals to the set of x such that x is the set of branches of science okay branches of science uh other answers so madami nagtaas ng kamay kanina sino ba yun
wala internet. <clears throat> okay. Yan, so nawala ako. So madami nagtaas ang kamay kanina, sino pa? Any other answers? Okay, MC. So, last three po. Um, F is equals to set of X. Is the set of important branches of science. Po. Okay. So, <clears throat> answer is F is equals to set of X. So, set X is the set of science subjects. Yon. So minsan medyo tayo medyo specific, medyo medyo nandoon na tayo. Pero nasa baba pa sobra. Okay, so ito, x such that x is the set of science subjects. Okay, so so some terms on sets. So we have finite and infinite sets. We have a unit set an empty set. So, it is possible na ang isang set ay walang laman. So, we have a universal set. So, what, when we call a universal set, a universal set is a set na where yung nasa loob niya is the truth. For example, we have the gravity. Ang gravity natin is 9.8 meter per second squared. So, if you put it in a set, it is a universal. So, cardinality. So, cardinality or ordered. So, <clears throat> this can also be inside a set. So, finite set. Please read. Nag-auto raise down ba ako ng ano? Ng hand? Hindi, hindi po sir, hindi po. Kasi parang automatic nag bumaba, bumababa yung hand nyo. Okay, so anyone, please read a uh, finite set. Okay, Angelo, please, ano, read. Finite set is a set whose elements are limited or countable and the last elements can be identified. Example A, A is a set, A is a set of X such as X is a positive integer less than 10. B, C is a set of, of D, I, R, T. C, E is a set of A, E-I-O-U. Okay, thank you. So, katulad nga kanina, nasasabi ko, ang isang set, it can be a finite or yung kapag nag-determine ka na dito lang siya, dito lang siya, and if has, it has an, uh, specific elements, so we, those, uh, those sets are finite. Okay? So, katulad kanina ng dirt, so sa dirt, ano lang ba ang nasa dirt? D-I-R-T. So, yun lang yung laman ng set mo. So, to, so nakalagay positive integer less than 10. Ano lang ba yung positive integer less than 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, yun lang yung nasa less than 10. So, we have A-E-I-O-U or the vowel letters in a Latin alphabet. So, wala namang iba. Wala namang iba pang values na pwede natin ilagay sa isang set. Okay, so infinite set. This read. Okay, Justin. Infinite set is a set whose elements are unlimited or accountable and the last elements cannot be specified. Example, F F is equals to set of set of negative two, negative one zero one, 
into b. G is equals to set of x, such as x is a set of full numbers. And c, h is equals to a set of x, such as x is a set of molecules on earth. Okay, so thank you. Um, infinite set, katulad nga kanina, meron tayong so on and so forth na pwede siyang magpatuloy na magpatuloy infinitely. Hmm. And tingnan nyo yung letter D where G is equals to X such that X is the set of a whole number. So, napakarami nating whole numbers. Ano ba yung mga yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yun, hanggang 100, 1,000, 1 million, 10 million, 1 trillion, 1 billion. Diba? Napakarami nating numbers na yun para may sulat dyan. So, those are infinite sets. So, meron din tayong set ng molecules on earth. So, sa sobrang dami nyan, hindi natin din mabibilang yan. So, with the, uh, at the same time, hindi lang naman yung molecule naman na nasa earth. It uh, reduces or it increases depending on what happens. So, it is set as infinite na rin. Okay. So, next, we have unit set. Okay. Please read. <clears throat> Anyone? Please read. Set. Okay. Marian Janice. Marian, please read. A unit set. A unit set is a set with only one element. It is also called singleton. Example A. I equals set of x such as x is a whole number greater than 1 but less than 3. B. J equals set of A. Set of W. C. K equals set of red. Okay. So. A unit set, ang laman lang niya is isa lang. So, uh, another term sa kanya, talit niya na sinabi nga nina ni Marian, is a singleton. So, ayan, J is equal to set of W, K is equal to set of rat. So, ano ba yung sagot sa A? Uh, I is equal to set of 2. Diba yun lang? Kasi, 2 lang naman na meron doon, na whole number. So, yung elements niya sa loob is uh, singular lang. Okay. So, next, we have empty set. Anyone? Please read. Okay. Uh, Justin? Yung hindi tayo, Justin? Wala po sa atin. Nagalag po ako. Pakinig po ba? Okay, go. Empty set. An empty set is a unique set with no elements or null, or null set. It's undenoted by the symbol. Ano pong tawag yun, sir? Um, slash zero. Ah, <clears throat> slash zero. Or, um, or set. Example, L is equals to set of X and an integer less than 2 but greater than 1. M is equals to uh, set of X such as X is a number, pan is a number of panda number in Manila Zoo. N is equals to set of x such as x in the set of positive integers less than zero. Okay, so so doon na lang tayo tumingin sa b. Sa b, x such that 
x is a number of panda bear in Manila Zoo. O meron bang panda bear sa Manila Zoo ngayon? So, wala. So, zero or null set. So, mind you everyone, pag nakita nyo tong null, it is, uh, meaning is empty. When you use it in mathematics, it is zero. Okay. So, we call it a null set because ang magiging uh, value niya kapag ka naging L uh, tinranslate nyo sa na yung tinranslate nyo yung inyong uh, statement magiging L is equals to yung set lang ito magiging ito lang siya ito magiging ito lang siya So, patulad ng C. So, C is the set of positive integers less than 0. Ano bang positive integers less than 0? Wala namang positive integers na less than 0. Kasi ano ba ang less than 0? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Which are negative. Hindi naman siya positive, di ba? Okay, so, next we have a universal set. Universal set. Please read. Okay, Lay. Universal set. Universal set is the set, is the all set under investigation in any application of set theory are assumed to be continued in some large fixed set donated by the symbol U. Example. U is equal to the set of x, such as x is, x is a positive integer, x squared is equal to 4. Letter B, U is equal to the set of 1, 2, 3, so on to 100. Letter C, U is equal to the set of x, such as x is an animal in Manila Zoo. Okay. So, when we say universal set, so this are set na... We are not yet sure. So the uh, what is said inside the statement is merely theoretical. So, for example, x such that x is a positive integer, where x squared is equals to four. <clears throat> so we we do not know. Kung to ba talaga si x, or ano ba talaga ang value ng x squared. Or is this a statement true? If x squared is really 4. For example, what if x is equal to 3? So, ang 3 squared natin is 9, di ba? <clears throat> so, this is under investigation. So, u, 1, 2, 3 to 100, eh, we're also not sure. Uh, what is the <clears throat> what is being uh, determined in this set? So letter C, x such that x is an animal in Manila Zoo. So it can continually uh, become uh, can in this value can increase or this value can decrease depending on what animal goes to Manila Zoo. So, those are universal sets, and we have cardinality. Okay, please read. Okay, MC, please read. Cardinal number. The cardinal number of set is the number of elements or members in the set. Cardinality of a set A is donated by N. Example, determines cardinality of the first A. E is equal to set of A, E, O, U, B, A is equal to such X, a positive integer less than zero. Okay, so, 
So, cardinal number, a set is the number of elements. So, what, uh, how many elements are in the, inside the set? So, we have E is equals to A, E, I, O, U. If we count, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, then, we have the N or the number of elements on E is equals to 5. Then we have a is equals to x such that x is a positive integer less than 10. So, positive integers less than 10. We have a is equals to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And bilangin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have the number of elements on a is equals to 9. So, this is the cardinality or the cardinal number of a set. Okay, so we have dirt. C is equals to set of DIRT. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, having number of elements in C is equals to 4. So, theorem 1.1, .1, uniqueness of empty set, there is only one set with no elements. So, ano yung one set with no elements? Yung null set. Or yung nagkaroon ng zero sa loob. So, pag yung zero yun, null yun, wala siyang laman sa loob. Gets ba yun? Okay. So, next. We have Venn diagram. Can anyone uh, read uh, Venn diagram? Okay, Jenny. <clears throat> Venn diagram. Venn diagram is a pictorial presentation of relation and operation on set, also known set diagrams. It show all hypothetically possible logical relations between finite collection of sets constructed with collection of simple closed curves drawn in the plane or normally comprised of overlapping circles. The interior of the cycle symbolically represent the elements or members of the set, while the exterior represent and switch of the set. Introduced by Ben John in his paper on the diagrammatic and mechanical representation of preposition and reasons. Okay. So, Venn diagram, uh, maybe may naka-encounter na sa inyo nito during your elementary or high school or senior high school days. So, yun ang ano ng Venn diagram. Maya, makikita nyo yun. Oh, so, we have kinds of set. We have a subset. A proper subset, an equal set, power set. So, let's go first with subset. So, if A and B are sets, A is called a subset of B. And if and only if every element of A is also an element of v, uh, B. Symbolically, this is the symbol for Subset? Sir, excuse po. Naka-off mic mo. Naka-off mic mo. Ah, naka-off mic ba ako? Sir, naka-off mic po kayo. Hmm. Ay, sorry. Naka-off mic pala ako. Ayan, okay. So, this is a Venn diagram. So, maybe sa inyo, sa... Elementary, high school, uh, ano nyo, uh, uh, senior high school, you have encountered a Venn diagram. Uh, yung dalawang bilog na nagdikit. Okay, so, mamaya makikita nyo yun. So, we go pr and proceed first with uh, kinds of sets. So, kinds of sets, we have a subset, a proper subset, yeah, and equal set, and a power set. So, first, we have a subset. So, subset 
if A and B are sets, A is called a subset of B. If and only if every element of A is also an element of B. So symbolically, ito ang meaning ng uh, subset. So this means A is A is called a subset of B. Okay, so suppose A is equals to a set of C, D, and E. So B is equals to set of A, B, C, D, E. So makikita nyo, may C, D, and E. So nakapapaloob din siya sa B. So in yun universal, <clears throat> we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So Inside the circle, makikita nyo yung A, yung C, D, and E. Then you have the B set, A, B, C, D, E. Then you also have the universal set. You have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So, we can say that A is a subset of B. And B is a... Uh, subset of the universal uh, set. Okay, so then is a subset of B since all elements of A is in B. Diba? Nakita natin yung CDE nandito naman sa loob ng B. Okay, so we have proper subset. Proper subset, let A and B be sets. So A is a proper subset of B. If and only if every element of A is in B, but there is at least one element of B that is not in A. Okay, ulitin ko. A and B uh, set are sets. So, A is a proper subset of B. If and only if every element of A is in B, but there is at least one element of B. That is not in A. Okay? So, one element of B. So, the symbol na ito, it denotes that it is not a proper subset. Okay? So, suppose ulit, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Then, we have C, E, A, C, B, D. And you, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, A is a subset of B. <clears throat> Yan. So, we can call that A is a subset of B since all elements of A is in B. Nagets ba? Okay, may baka may tanong dyan. May nalilito pa sa subset at sa proper subset. Hmm. Okay, so let's move on. So we have equal sets. So equal sets, given set A and B. A is equals to B. So, written, if and only if, every element of A is in B and every element of B is in A. So, symbolically, A is equals to V, uh, B. Then, suppose A is equals to A, B, C, D, E. And B is A, B, D, E, C. And the U. Makikita natin. Lahat ng elements ng A and B ay parehas and they are the same. So, we can say that A is equals to B. So, set A is equals to set B. Yan. <clears throat> the set A is equals to set B and B is equals to set A. Thus, A is equals to B. 
So power sets. Power sets are given a set S from universe U. The power set of S denoted by the letter or S is the collection or sets of all subsets of S. So example, determine the power or power set of A and B. So A So the power set of A is equals to the following. So set of set of E and set of set of E, set of F, set of EF and zero or null. Then we have B. And power set of B is equals to set of set of 1, set of 2, set of 3, set of 1, 2, set of 1, 3, set of 2, 3, set of 1, 2, 3, and null. <clears throat> okay, so mapapansin nyo, dito na lang sa 1, 2, 3, 1, we have 1, we have 2, we have 3. Then we have the set of 1 and 2, 1 and 2, the set of 1, 3, which is 1 and 3. So we have 2 and 3, so we have 2 and 3, so we have 1, 2, 3, or buo, then null. So these are all the possible sets on the power set na ginagawa natin dito sa, oh, sa power set. <clears throat> Nag-gets niyo ba ito? O baka may tanong dito? So, it's para siyang distributive and anong, anong lahat ng possible combinations na pwede niyong magawa sa set ng na given. A, ano ba? A is equals to E, F. So, we have E, we have F. Yan. Okay, any questions? Yes, Charles? Sir, pa, dapat na sunod-sunod po yung number o kaya po yung letter. Yung po sa set. set. Okay, pag magsusulat ka ng set, uh, mas maganda kung sunod-sunod mong isulat ito. Pero pag dumating ka na dito, ang advisable ko is unahin mo yung nasa pinakauna dito. Mga una yan, limbawa, 1, 2, uh, punta tayo sa whiteboard para mas madaling ipaliwanag. Hmm. Limbawa, may set ka ng, ano ba yung nakalagay natin set doon. So, set B, uh, B is equals to set of uh, 1, 2, and 3. O, dadagdagan natin, lagyan natin ng 4 para mas madami. So, ano ba yung mga sets na pwede nating magawa sa kanila? <clears throat> so, we have set of set of 1. We have set of set of 2. Hindi ko na susulat yung ano ha. Para mabilis tayo. 3. We have 4. Ito ko na lang. 4. Then next, ano yung set na meron pa tayo? Punta naman tayo sa to di, the dalawang digit. So we have a set of 1 and 2. We have a set of 1 and 3. We have a set of 1 and 4. Okay, so baba na tayo. So after ng 1 and 4, meron tayong set of 2 and 3. After 2 and 3, meron tayong set of 
go in for. Meron tapos ng <clears throat> set ng 2 and 4. Meron tayong set off. Ano pa? Sino mga pagbigay sa akin? Set off? 3 and 4. 3 and 4. Okay, so meron tayong... Oh, titignan natin. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, kompleto na. Ang sets of 2. So after ng sets of 2, sets of 3. Ano ba sets of 3 natin? Sets of 3, meron tayong 1, 2, and 3. Then, meron tayong ano pa? 1, 1, 3, 4, and 4. O meron pang isa pa. Meron pa tayong 1 Ano sunod? 3, 4, 4 3 and 4 oh, May isa pa oh, Set off Ano yung kasunod? 2, 3, 4 Okay, 2, 3, 4 Yan <laughs> Wala kayo nindro. So, ayan. <clears throat> Tapos naman natin ang sets of 3. Check natin. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay na. Then, sets of 4 naman tayo. Para mabuo natin. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yan. Then, huwag natin kakalimutan ang null. Okay. So, ito. Uh, this is how we get a set ng uh, power set. Sa isang set na ganito. Ito. Okay. Uh, Nag-gets na ba? O paano yung power set? Papa. Okay. So, next. Next tayo. We have the theorem. So, theorem 1.2. A set with no elements is a subset of every set. So, if null hmm <coughs> 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 So, if null is a set with no elements and A is any set, then <clears throat> null is a subset of A. Yes, yun mayo, kaya merong, uh, merong null dun sa dulo. So, theorem 1.3. We have for all sets A and B. If A is a subset of B, then the power set of A is a subset of power set of B. Inano nyo ba yun? Kasi kung si A nasa loob ng B, kapag nag-power set tayo ng A, uh, lahat ng nasa power set ng A, pag nag-power set si B, nandun din sa loob ng power set ng B. Okay, so theorem 1.4 power sets for all integers n if a set S has an element as uh, I mean for all integers n if a set S has an n elements then the power set of S has 2 to the n elements. <clears throat> okay, so operations on sets have the following. Union, intersection, the complement, difference, and symmetric difference, disjoint sets, uh, ordered pairs, 
So we have first A union, union of A and B denoted by A union B is the set of all elements X in U such that X is in A or X is in B. Okay, so symbolically, A union B is equals to the set of X such that X is an element of A uh, ano to ito ay element of a and x is an element of b yan hindi ah, ko lang maano kung paano to basahin ha so symbolically this is the formula for a union b <clears throat> so we can see here the set of a and we have the set of b so ang union niya ito and it is an overlap. Okay, so intersection, the intersection of A and B, <coughs> denoted by A intersection B, is a set of all elements in X, in U, uh, elements X in U, such that X is in A and X is in B. So, ayan. Ito ang intersection. So, mind you everyone, yung mga nakikita nyo ngayon is uh, beneficial sa inyo kapag ka kayo ay nag-autocad na. So, madali nyo nang matutunan to or maintindihan nyo nang mabilis kung ano si union, ano si intersection. Kasi ito ay commands din sa CAD. So, you can use this as preparation for the subject na din. So, complement, complement of A or absolute complement of A denoted uh, A prime is the set of all elements X in U such that X is not in A. So symbolically, uh, A prime is equals to the set of X on uh, element of U such that X is not an element of A. So, yan. Paano natin intindihin yung formula? Uh, X is an element of U. So, values of X is outlier dito. And X is not an element of A. Yan. Ito po yun. So, difference. Difference of A and B or relative complement of B with respect to A denoted by A difference B. It's the set of all elements X in U such that X is in A and X is not in B. Yan. So, ito yung symbolical figure ng difference. <clears throat> so, if you would notice, ang X natin ay nandito. And yung value ni B ay natanggal dun sa A. Sa so, naging intersection niya with A. Yan. <clears throat> okay, so symmetric difference. Symmetric difference if set A and B are two sets. Their symmetric difference as the set consisting of all elements that belong to A or to B but not to both. A and B. So, symmetrical, symbolically, A or symmetric difference of B is equals to X such that X is an element of A union B. <coughs> then, X is not of, where X is not an element of A difference B. So, yan. So, sa symmetric difference, yung naging intersection nila is mawawala. So, ang values ng x is nandito lang sa part ng a and part ng b na hindi nag-intersect. So, example. Suppose a, b, c, b, c, d, e, and the u is a, b, c, d, e, f, g. So, find the following. Okay, so A, union B. 
Asan ang union niya? Ito. Okay, so union A union B is A B C D E. So yun yung magiging values niya. So A uh, intersection ng B is we have C or set C. So A prime we have D E and F G. Oh, since yung buo kabuuan ni A is hindi mapapasama sa set na B and ni U. So A prime. Then A difference B is AB. Why? Because may minus nga natin CC si, si from A. Dahil si B is ABC. So naging AB na lang siya. So A uh, <coughs> symmet symmetry ABDE So, naging siya ABD siya because sa gitna ng symmetry niya, we have A, B, and D e values. So, disjoint sets, uh, two sets are called disjoint or non-intersecting if and only if they have no elements in common. For example, nitong ganitong uh, part. Yan. So, ordered pairs, A, B is, A is called the first component and B is called the second component. In general, A, B is not equals to B, A. So, when we mean ordered by ordered pairs, kung anong arrangement niya, yun din dapat yung arrangement na lalabas. So, kapag ka ang arrangement niya is nagbago, hindi siya equal dun sa nauna. Okay? I say this is a determined. So example, I determine whether each statement is true or false. Now, 2, 5 is equals to 9 minus 7, 2 plus 3. <clears throat> okay, is it true or is it false? Anyone? True po. True po. True po. True. Kasi 9 minus 7 is yeah. positive. Kasi mag-equal siya. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Mag-isagot natin dito is 2, 5. So, ordered pair is equal. Next. Okay, next, uh, B is the, state, is the statement true or false? <clears throat> false po. False po. Ay, true po. True, true po. True, true po pala. False po. False po. True. To true means false. True po. True. True. <laughs> true po. Oh, sino, Sorry po. Sino true? true. Sino true? Oh. Ah, sino mo ng false? Okay, MC, bakit false? Dahil po sa ano, sa set po, dun po sa, para, yun po nasa gilid ng mga numbers. Sa gilid ng numbers, ito. Oo po. O bakit false? Dito, dahil dito. Ay, sino Apo. pang false? Sino pang false? Okay, Von. Oh, bakit false? Um, because this, ano po, yung uh, expression po, is uh, considered as sets. So, itong set na to, sets, so, sets not ordered pair. Not sets not ordered pair. Okay, sino sino na po? Sets po naman, true. Ako po, sir. Oh, Charles. <clears throat> bakit? Tama po ang operation, ang 2 is to 5 po ay not equal po talaga sa 5 to 2. Dahil po ang position po ay nag-iba. 
Okay, tama. Uh, okay, so, sino pa? Sino pang true? Meron pa ibang paliwanag na true? Okay, Lay? Sabi po ni, an, karagdagan po lang. Kasi sabi po dito, in general po, yung A and B, kailangan dito sila magkakapalit ng, posi- ng position, not equal to B, A. Since yung ating A ay 2 at yung ating B ay 5, hindi siya pwedeng maging 5, 2 kasi nga si 5 ay B natin, si 2 ay A. So, kailangan po talaga, totoo po siya. Okay, so, <clears throat> sahin natin lahat. Since there are sets and not ordered pairs, the order in which the elements are listed is not important. They, this is false. Okay. So, I have oh, Since these are sets and not ordered pairs, the order in which the elements are listed is not important. Okay. So, si, uh, tama yung nagsabi ng false. Sabi ni MC, dahil dito. Kita nyo ba to? Kita nyo yung nandito sa taas? Yung nasa taas, parenthesis, yung nandito sa baba ay <coughs> nakabracket. Four sets. <coughs> so the statement is false. Kasi kapag set yan, pwede mo siyang i-interchange. Pwede rin siya maging 2-5. Okay? Uh, naintindihan ba yun? Bakit siya false? Yes po. Oh, yes po. Yes po. Ano po pala? Ang hirap nakita. Malit ba? Bracket pala po sir. Ano oh, bracket po. Ano bracket siya dito? <clears throat> okay. So next. Ano? O sa next? Ano mo siya? True Yan po yung true. O oh, yan yung true. <laughs> Yan, yan, yan na po yung <laughs> yan na yung naka parenthesis okay. the Cartesian product the Cartesian product of sets A and B written A times B is A times B is equals to set of AB such that A is an element of A and B is an element of B so example let A is equals to 2 uh, set of 2, 3, and 5, and B is equals to set of 7 and 8. So, we have to find uh, find each set. So, A times B. So, anong set niya? Meron tayong coordinates na 2, 7, 2, 8, 3, 7, 3, 8, 5, 7, 5, 8. So, kung ipa-plot siya. Silver. O, oh, yan. So, B time, pag B times A naman. Ito yung ordinates. A times A. May ordinates din na ganito. So, ito. Mga ito. Pwede nyo tong i-plot sa Cartesian. So, kung mapapansin nyo, these are all ordered products na. ba? So, language of functions and relations. Uh, relations is a set of ordered pairs. So, if... X and Y are elements of the sets. <clears throat> and if a relation exists between X and Y, then we say that X corresponds to Y or that Y depends on X and is represented as the ordered pair of X and Y. Eh, medyo mahaba. Ulitin ka. See, so relation is a set of ordered pairs. Kaya ninyo na ha is a set of ordered pairs, hindi set. So, if X and Y are elements of these sets, and if a relation exists between X and Y, then we say that X corresponds to Y, or that Y depends on X, and is represented as the ordered pair of X and Y. <clears throat> okay, so nakikita nyo na ba yung relationship niya kay, ano, kay Cartesian plane? Okay, so A relation from a relation from set A to set B is defined to be any subset of A times B. So if R or relation is a relation from A to B and A uh, uh, order A B is an element of R, then we say that A is related to B. 
and it is donate, denoted as A relate, relation B. Okay, so let's say A is equals to A, B, C, D. B the set of uh, car brands and B is STV, STUV. B the set of countries of the car manufacturer. So then A times B gives all possible pairings of the elements of A and B. So let the relation from R from a relation R from A to B be given by so R is equals to set of order A S, order A T, order A U, so on and so forth. So let R be a relation from set A to the set B. And domain of R is the set of dom of R. Our domain of R is equal to set of A, the element A, such that order AB is an element of the relation. For some, uh, B in element of element B. Okay, so we have an image or range of R. So we have image or IMR is equals to the set of B. Set of B, that uh, element of B, such that order AB is an element of a relation for some A is an element of A. Hmm. Okay, so example, ayan. If A is equal to set of A, a uh, set of 4 and 7, so if we multiply A by A, we'll get the following ordinates. Uh, 4, 4, or 4, 7, 7, 4, and 7, 7. So let, uh, uh, mu. Tama ba mu? Hindi to mu. So let y, let y on a be the description of x, <clears throat> y, uh, where x plus y is even. So then 4 and 4 is an element of this uh, variable and 7, 7 is an element of the variable y. So function is a special kind of relation helps visualize the relationship okay so applications of functions we have a financial application economics medicine engineering science natural disasters yan so language of binary operations nakakasunod pa ba awada masyado madami Ilan pa ba tayo? Dami pa. Okay, so 10 minute break muna tayo. Uh, balik tayo ng 3. Okay. Absorb nyo muna yung kanina kasi napakadami. And dosa balik kayo ng 3. And I'll start the class at exactly 3 o'clock. Okay, everybody. Okay, thank you. Okay, what's that? Okay, what's that? Okay, what's that? Okay, what's that?